Hey ladies, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I add this logo to the end of all of my Instagram reels. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for this, you are going to have to use the video editor CapCut. It is free in the Google Play Store as well as the iTunes Store. Once you come in, you're going to make sure you're on the edit tab in the far left. You're gonna create a new project and you're going to add the video or the photo or whatever it is that you're creating that you wanna turn into a reel. In this case, I have a reel that I created in Canva. CapCut automatically adds their own. So this is a pro feature. So if you do wanna use this, you are going to have to upgrade. You're going to remove the CapCut logo by tapping on the black area at the end and hitting the delete key. Okay, once you've done that, what you need to do is you actually need to get a white version of your logo. So this is all of the text that's on your logo needs to be all white and it needs to be on a transparent background and you need to save that to your camera roll. Okay, so I wanna show you what you need. You need to have a white version of your logo with a transparent background. That means it's got to be a .png file with nothing in the background. What you're going to do with that is you are going to bring it over to your camera roll. It doesn't look like there's, look like there's anything here, but there really is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite it because this is something I'm going to be using time and time again, and I want it in my favorites. Okay, now let's go back to CapCut. Okay, to add your logo, you're going to hit the overlay button in the bottom, then you're going to click add overlay, and then you're going to change it from recents to favorites. And then you're going to tap on photos, which is in the middle. Now, I know it looks all white in the upper left, but this is the actual logo that I just saved to my camera roll in my favorites folder. So I'm just going to tap it and click add. And there it is. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just so that it gives it a little bit of breathing room. Then I'm going to tap on animations in the bottom. Now, the two that I like to use are shake slide, and I like to increase it to about 1.5. And the other one that I like to use is split slide. And again, I would increase that to about 1.5. And then just click the little check mark. And once you're done that, you can come back, you can look at your video, make sure it plays as you want. It comes, comes in exactly as you want. Maybe you don't want it quite that long. You can actually just take the end and move it over. Let's see if I like this a little bit better. Perfect. Done. Then all you have to do is hit the export button in the top and it's going to export and save to your camera roll. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more Instagram tips. Cheers.